Oh hey, this is Red Nitro for Gaming and we are going to do today a Morgan freewheeler build and first we're going to stuff lots of power because why the heck not and I think if we go to conversions we might be able to get a engine swap and we have and this is a motorbike swap so that is going to be interesting and it's already done all the upgrading for us so that is going to be interesting and breaks carbon fiber, no carbon ceramics and we're gonna have sports springs and maybe rear anti roll bars and a little bit of weight saving cause I feel like it and for the final toppings we are going to go to the wheels and then hopefully get race tires but I don't think we need to, but I'll change the race tyres anyway because I feel like it and I know which ones I'm going for. I think I'm going to go for these, my favourite tyres, and we've done the whole drift thing and this car's going to act crazy to the track, so see that soon. And just to let you know, warning, there will be a lot of crashes. But first, I'll show you a little bit of the Forza Vista because I feel like it and let's see the lights. And these are what the lights look like and here is the engine part. And we're going to see what the engine looks like from now. I think I'm going to make it look a little bit more cleaner. But nonetheless, we are genuinely coming to the car and I think we'll drive it so see you at the race here we are now and we are in our lovely Morgan freewheeler and we are being beaten with all the power this car is sliding like heck here and it is super awesome and I really want this car to be in Forza, but it might not be the electric one, but nonetheless, we have a quite fun to drift and drive one, and I must give Forza and Turn 10 a thumbs up for this one at least. This has got to be the best one in the pack, and for sure it has stolen the show off the Bentley and the Mercedes. I could rarely actually say that. But it has this time, and it is a fun show to drift. And I find this crazy. It's really hard not to drift in this car. But imagine the Robin Reliant actually having two wheels at the front instead of one wheel at front. It would, at least it would be more stable and... I wonder if we've had a wheel coming off. No, that's just my imagination. But this car is too crazy to handle. Even I can't handle it, to be honest. But nonetheless, we're going to try to handle this beast of a thing. And, okay, Xbox, thanks for telling me about my batteries. But nonetheless, I'll put some new... Duracell AA batteries in. Sorry about that. But that is my Xbox at the moment. It's just reminding me until it's too late. But this drifting is absolutely amazing. It just wants to do donuts. Like, it has to do it. I don't know why, but it just wants to. And it's really confusing, to be honest. But I really do like sliding it around at least. And I don't think this car would have a very fast lap time with stock tyres and st thin enough tyres. They're just really thin. But that's just for it, so it's designed to have lots of fun and we've stuffed some power in. Just have a huge laugh. But at least we don't have the Pontiac Aztec or else I'll be saying... No, 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 because 
I hate the Pontiac Aztec. And I think if it wasn't for Breaking Bad, no one would like it, to be honest, at least. And bye from Red Nitro, Ferrari or Ferrari Nitro. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>